Today, I'm going to show you how to create an effect on a tire going from normal to flat. The things that we are going to go over today are going to be the setup for the assets inside 3ds Max, quick export and import inside Unreal, setting up the material for the tire and making material instance with a parameter so that we can blend it easier. I saw Battlefield 6 the other day and I noticed that when you shoot the tires, they are getting flat. So I wanted to recreate the same effect inside Unreal Engine 5. There are multiple ways of how we can achieve it, but the way that I decided to show you today is by using static mesh. We are going to morph from the two states of the tire, but because it's a static mesh, it's a little bit more tricky than being a skeletal mesh. Going inside 3ds Max, this is a low poly model of a tire. I'm going to modify it by using a 4x4 FFD modifier, just so that we can make it look like a flat. And then I'm going to set the two models on top of each other. Once this is done, I'm just going to drag and drop our Max script, which is something that you can find down in the description below. What that script does is going to pack the normals from our morph targets inside our UV channels. This is something that also can be done with the vertex color, but today we are going to pack it inside the UV channel. We need to pick the game mesh, morph target one, which is going to be the first state of your mesh, morph target two, which is the second state, and we need to check the box store morph one normals. This is going to say the script where exactly we want to store our normals. Once the packing is done, we are just going to export it as an FBX and import it inside Unreal with the default settings. In Unreal, I'm going to create a master material, and the first thing that we are doing is creating a color node. I'm going to need a three color, so we are going to hold three on the keyboard and press somewhere in the empty space. And in terms of color, we are going to leave the red and the green channel on zero and just the blue channel on one. This is going to be lerped. And another part that I need is going to be static mesh morph target, which we are going to connect to B to that lerp. Now we're going to need a time. We are going to multiply it. For now, we will leave the parameter as it is. And I'll show you why we are doing that. We need to get a clump and then we need to get two lerps so that we can connect everything together. The morph target is going to go into one of the lerps. Now we're just going to go through connecting all the different parts. And the first lerp we are going to connect to our normal while the rest of the logic goes into the world space offset. The way that the material works is if we change the time to zero, we are going to get our first model. And if we change it to one, we are going to get our second target. I'm going to create a new parameter and just name it so that later we can use that on the material instance. And after assigning the material instance, we can now easier control which exactly state we would like to have on the tire. Thank you for joining me today. Subscribe and follow for more game development tutorials.